He knows a lot about the science stuff, Professor Dave explains. One day in physics class, you're learning about gravity, and your friend tells you that they exert a stronger gravitational force on you than the nearest star beyond our sun, Proxima Centauri. You have a mass of 60 kilograms, as does your friend, who is sitting two meters away. Proxima Centauri has a mass of 2.45 times 10 to the 29 kilograms, and it is 4.01 times 10 to the 16 meters away. So, is your friend correct? Which exerts more gravity on you, your friend or the star? To answer this, we will need to use Newton's Law of Universal Gravitation. So, if you missed that tutorial, check it out right now. If you know what to do, give this calculation a try. This is easy to solve if we know this equation. All we do is plug in the masses and distances involved, as well as the gravitational constant. First, for your friend, we plug in 60 and 60 as the masses, and 2 meters as the distance between you. We square that and evaluate, and we should get 6 times 10 to the negative 8 newtons. This is an extremely tiny force which explains why people don't slowly drift towards each other when sitting in a room. Now let's do one for the star. We replace the mass of your friend with the mass of the star. But we also change this value to the distance to the star. So we have a huge number on top, but we have a pretty big number on the bottom too. And we have to square it. So when we evaluate this, we get 6.1 times 10 to the negative 13 newtons. As small as the first number was, this one is 100,000 times smaller. So it looks like your friend was right. None of the stars in the universe, apart from the sun, can have any significant gravitational influence on the Earth. Take that, astrology. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.